Hi, my name's Tom Langdon, and I've got a show at Hudson River Gallery. Uh, started the end of May, and it runs through about the 25th, 26th of June, I believe. I started photography, I got my first Nikon in 1969. I was in the Navy, I was in the Philippines, and uh, I always had an interest in photography, and the price was right. And I got my first Nikon, no, no meter, no nothing, just a basic film camera. And I used that to photograph in the Philippines. And so, um, as a 19-year-old from Nebraska, 19-year-old boy from Nebraska, you know, I was like taken uh, by traveling, by being in a foreign place. Where I worked at, there was a lot of civilian Filipinos that worked with us. And I got to be friends with a number of them, and so I was able to go to their homes off base and uh, visit with them, party with them. Also went up to some smaller villages where their families came from and spent some weekends up there, which you know was, was really a great eye-opener. And I think that's one of the things that got me intrigued about Mexico so much, because when I started diving, in the Yucatan, I, I really started seeing a lot of um, connections, I guess, with, with what I wanted to photograph. Uh, I wanted to photograph the people. I wanted to photograph their lives, what they did. First trip to Mexico, and it really put the hook in me. And I've gone back for quite frequently and for the past, what, 40 years. So I taught for 25 years. And then, after that, I came to Iowa City as a photographer for the UI Foundation. And uh, that was a great job. I worked there for 10 years, did a lot of photography of <clears throat> students in different colleges, different, different academics, different donors, high-end donors. And I'd still go to Mexico. Uh, 1993, went to Mexico, and that was my first trip to Oaxaca. And Oaxaca is southeast of Mexico City. It's in a state that's in the southern part of Mexico. So uh, my partner, Patty O'Neill, and I have an apartment there that we keep, and so we go there about three times a year. Patty has a, has a business where she works with craftspeople and weavers, and she has some of her stuff here at the show, some of the pots, got a beautiful rug, a few other things that she brought in to kind of give a, a little bit of a feeling of, of Oaxaca to the show, which is really nice. Uh, these photographs are from about the past five years, I guess, they're selects, and uh, there's, there's probably three or four different projects that I'm working on. One, one is brooms. Brooms in, in, Mex in uh, Spanish is escoba. And brooms have been very influential in Mexican life since pre-conquest. Well, the morning is when I photograph and that's when folks are sweeping. Sweeping is so important in Mexico. It gets rid of all the the waste and the trash from the night before and gives a clean entrance. It, it keeps the demons away from the house or the business. That's the way it's always been. Another, another reason about the brooms is I really like the colors. The colors are amazing. I mean, there's a corner of the show here that you got blue, green, and orange brooms. Being a little bit anthropological about it, I like the tools that people use. and the tools and the things that make their life fuller, richer, um, more complete, let's say. Another thing that you'll notice is trees. I started out in college in pre-forestry. I went through arborist training. I'm an Iowa tree steward, so I've got a lot of great connections with trees. The trees in here, and especially the one over here, it's, it's called a plumeria. It's also known as a frangopani, and it's indigenous to Mexico. And that particular tree is a wonderful tree. It's, it's a street tree, 
and it's by itself a very important part of Oaxaca. And uh, it's, it's one of my favorites. And there's other trees, there's fig trees. For example, the cage tree is a fig tree. And these are all street trees, they're on the sidewalk, but Mexico loves these trees. Another thing that is interesting to me is the Volkswagen. Volkswagens in Mexico are known as Vocho. So I, I like photographing Volkswagens in context also. So we've got uh, uh, the card, the, the card for this show is a, is a Volkswagen with Our Lady of Guadalupe behind it. Uh, this Volkswagen over here, this light blue one, I photographed in July of 2019. And it just so happens, by coincidence, this wasn't planned, by coincidence that it was the last day that Volkswagens were made in Mexico. And the last Volkswagen that came off the assembly line was that color. So it's got some, you know, special stuff to it. And uh, people, I love, I mean, yeah, I mean, when I go to Mexico, I'm a visitor. You know, I, I, I try to be very aware of the population, of the people, of what they do and who they are. And I don't, I'm not a tourist really. I, I've done that a little bit going on some tours, but I prefer to do my market thing in the morning, uh, live like a normal person, and go out and walk around, say buen dia when I see someone in the morning. Other things that I photograph are, uh, let's, let's say events, and there's some photos over here of, it's called Carnival, and it's in February, it's like pri prior to Lent, and, and fat, you know, it's Fat Tuesday, prior to um, Ash Wednesday, and uh, I've got two photographs here, one, one is of a, of a man being a woman, and then there's another one of a, of, a, of a young boy covered in motor oil. And this is in a town outside of Oaxaca, and Tigajete. And the, the blue one is actually in Oaxaca, pretty close to where I live. You know, sometimes as a photographer, you get kind of like, boing, you know, this is it. You know, let's wait, let's hope that it happens, let's hope that I don't miss it. I am really, really happy they're up. It was a great joy to print them and to see them hanging in Hudson River. So, thank you.